hello there and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my powder foundation routine and it was inspired by the elf cosmetics camo foundation that recently launched this is going to be a really easy routine and i hope you enjoy it i already did all of my skincare and the last product that i used was my sunscreen which was the black girl sunscreen and I do have a review of that up on my channel and I will link it down below in case you are interested. Like I've stated in some recent videos, I've been doing my brows first before doing my foundation. And so today I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Brow Lift and the Milani Weekend Brow. And the Weekend Brow shade that I'm using is Espresso. I'm starting with the brow lift and I'm applying it using this AOA Studio uh, spoolie. And I just bent it to make applying the product easier. And I've really grown to like this product and you know to be honest it's it's just the packaging and the way that it's designed that keeps me from using it uh, more often. I do find myself using the e.l.f. clear brow gel that's why well, I have it right here. I find myself using the NYX brow glue or this e.l.f. clear lash and brow glue just because with the wands it does make it easier and I don't have to find another product like this AOA Studio brush to be able to use it. But I do enjoy the product and what it does for my brows. As you can see, it kind of gives that laminated brow look. And as it dries, you can kind of start to feel your brow stiffen up. All right now I'm going in with the brow pen. I still use brow pencils from time to time but there's just something so easy and foolproof about using these brow pens. And I still haven't used any high-end version of this. I've used only drugstore brow pens and like they work beautifully. So I cleaned up the bottom of the brows with some concealer and now I'm gonna go in with primer. And for that I'm using the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup, and I have the shade Medium. I'm going in with this product because I'm going to be using a powder foundation, and I have dry skin, and I really want to make sure I still have that luminosity to my skin, and it's really nice to use an illuminator or an illuminating product underneath that powder foundation. I do have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, and while the products are similar, I don't really think that they're dupes, mostly because of their texture and the fact that this product I'm more likely to wear on its own, Whereas the Charlotte Tilbury is just a little bit, a little bit too glowy for me to wear just by itself without anything else. Now I'm just going to use my fingers to rub this in. And I love this product because it just gives you that slight perfecting look to your skin because it has that nice glow, but it's more of a lit from within type of glow. And I just, I love what that does to the skin. Next, I'm going to be going in with concealer. And now you can actually do this whether or not you're using a powder foundation. You can use it with a liquid foundation as well. But I'm particularly using it with my powder foundation just because this is a situation where I don't really want to mix my liquids and powders. So first to brighten up, I'm going to use the Black Radiance True Complexion Color Corrector in the shade Peach. I'm just squeezing some up and applying that right where I have most of the darkness. And I'm really just focusing it in the inner corner here. I like to start with the warmth of my concealer. I'm sorry, I like to start with the warmth of my fingers to blend out my color correcting products to really make sure it is melted down. All right, so you can see that did a great job of just brightening up and taking care of that hyperpigmentation and darkness that I have in the under eyes. Now for my actual concealer, I'm using the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum and I'm using it in the shade Sand. And I'm just pumping two pumps on the back of my hand here. And I picked some up with my Thrive Cosmetics eyeshadow brush because it's a nice, nice flat brush. And just concealing everywhere. I'm throwing some on the eyelid to use as an eyeshadow primer. Now I really like this concealer. It is on the more medium covered side, which is part of the reason why I used my uh, corrector underneath, but this is really good for those more light coverage days. And I do prefer to use it 
with another product as opposed to using it on its own. All right, now to beef up the coverage of the concealer, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer and I have the shade Bronzed Bell. And I'm taking an e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator Brush to apply it. And I get some out of the um, component and get some on the back of my hand here. Apply and blend. All right, I'm gonna go back in with my the bottom of my sponge here to kinda soften these edges out a little bit, but not too much because we are gonna go over it with the powder foundation. All right, I'm ready to blend out my concealer and for that I'm gonna use my Real Techniques setting brush. And like I always say, I start with where I need less coverage and then where I need the most. And for me personally, that is my inner corner. Well, my under eye area. And again, finishing things off with my sponge. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and set down my concealer with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. And I'm using the shade Medium. And today I'm gonna use my sponge to set my under eyes. And I really am just focusing this on my under eye so that you can see what the powder foundation looks like. So for all over, I'm gonna be using the powder foundation in the shade Medium 330 Warm. And here's what it looks like. You can see I've made quite the dent into it. Funny thing is, when I actually picked this up and put it next to my face, I thought, girl, you got way too light of a shade. But then I also went and picked up another shade that coincided with my um, Camo CC Cream, which is the 425 Neutral, which I thought was going to be my shade. And this is actually too deep, and so I'm actually going to use this to set the cream bronzer. But like I said, I'm going in with Medium 330W, and I'm going to use this e.l.f. powder brush. It has a flat top. And that is what I recommend for applying any kind of powder foundation. Now you don't need to use this e.l.f. one in particular, just you wanna get one with a flat top. And I mean, this one is very affordable and it is a great brush, so I do highly recommend this brush. Now, first thing to note about this foundation is it does have a little bit of kick up. I don't know if you can see there, but that's just for me swirling the brush around in there. It, it is a little, little powdery, if we're being honest. But I've got about that much on my brush. And I'm just going to start applying it. All right, so this is one layer on this side. And then this is the side without. All right, so here's what it looks like without me going in with the bronzer shade. All right, now I'm taking this 425N shade as a bronzer. All right, and here's how we're looking with the powder foundation used as both the powder foundation and a bronzer and you can see that there is definitely still some glow coming through the foundation and it did definitely add some coverage so it's definitely a medium coverage powder here so now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to blush and I'm using the wet n wild pearlescent pink this is an oldie but a goodie in terms of shades but this is actually a newer packaging I remember when this used to come in the square packaging. Long time favorites, a nice flattering pink. And I'm not going to be using any highlighter, so I wanted to use a nice glowy blush, which is another great way to combat the powdery look of a powder foundation. If you're ever in a situation where you feel like your makeup look is too powdery, whether you used powder foundation or you just overpowdered with your normal loose powder or pressed powder, a great way to combat that is to use a setting spray that melts everything together. And so for today, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. It says it has a matte finish, but it actually doesn't change the finish of your makeup. But it's really good at making your makeup last longer and also nice for just melting all those powders together.
So you can see it didn't change the finish. Everything is still as glowy as it was, but it's all meshed together. And I didn't do anything else except um, fan it to make it dry down a little bit quicker. For eyes, I'm going to do a quick look using this NYX Cosmetics Ultimate Queen Eyeshadow Palette. It's this really nice neutral palette, great beginner palette, and a great just everyday palette in general. So I'm starting by taking this matte shade all over the lid. And I'm using a Morphe M441 brush. And I'm taking a different clean brush, but it's the same kind of brush. Um, with the two shades here, these two brown shades, and I'm gonna be mixing them together and going in the transition outer corner area. Next, I wanna test out this e.l.f. Cosmetics No Budge Eyeshadow Stick. This is in the shade Rose Gold. I've used this product before, but I've never used this particular shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it directly to the inner corner and lid. And then I'll blend it out with my finger. I don't know, I think that shade's okay. I got a little bit of payoff from it, but definitely not as much as I was expecting. So I'm actually gonna go back into this Ultimate Queen palette and then just use this lightest shade, the shimmer shade, and just go over everywhere I just placed the eyeshadow stick. To finish off the eye look, I'm gonna use the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner in the shade Brown. I recently switched it up and started using some brown eyeliner just to kind of soften up my eye looks lately. For mascara, I'm taking the L'Oreal Waterproof Telescopic Mascara. And actually, before I do the lower lash mascara, I realize I need to do the lower lash mascara, I mean, lower lash eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go back into that Ultimate Queen palette and I'm going to mix this first matte shade and this second matte shade together and do that all the way. And then I'm going to be mixing these two brown shades on just the outer corner. Let's do the inner corner while we're at it. Going into that lightest shade. For lips, I have a nice nude combo. I'm using my beloved NYX Downtown Beauty Lip Liner, but then I'm also using the Jason Wu lipstick in the shade Biscotti. And for some gloss, I'm gonna use the Milani Keep It Full Plumping Lip Gloss, and this one's in the shade Natural Luster. And I'm just gonna focus this in the center of the lips. Here's how the makeup looks up close. All right, guys, here is the final and completed look. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and my powder foundation routine. And if you didn't pick up on this already, I really enjoy the e.l.f. powder foundation. I think it's a great everyday foundation to use, something to just throw on when you're on the go and need to get out the door in just a really short amount of time. I really love making videos for you guys, so leave me down in the comments some suggestions for any other makeup looks that you guys want to see or just any other type of videos that you'd like to see from me. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a great day or night. Bye. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way Tryna control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion